Hey guys, here with another options flow video. Let's start this one off with a clip from last week's Twitch stream. Um, so 25 G's may be a little bit too low. So now there's, there's. let me let me mention this uh, as far as earnings are concerned. There's not always going to be flow or earnings. And there and it might not even be the day before earnings as well. Or like the, the trading session before, right? So like we see, so snow is earnings in the after hours, right? So like we're here right now, 20 minutes before the close, like looking around like, oh, hey, what are you guys up to? Um, but... There's also the very real possibility that the people who know that snow is going to moon or rip, it's very possible that they've already placed their trades yesterday, the day before, you know what I mean? So like, it's kind of fruitless in this regard, uh, or it can be fruitless in this regard. One example is the uh, the Netflix puts, if you guys remember those, it feels like such a long time ago. Um, so this was April 2nd. Or April 12th, excuse me. So April 12th, earnings April 19th. They made their move a week before in this case. Um, these puts went from like 250 to... Holy shit, I don't even know what they went to. They went to like 40 Gs probably. So let's, we can actually take a look at it. Uh, 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 Chain Explorer... What do we want? Want the Netflix 250s? Oh, they already expired actually. Uh, so we can't look it up. But we can look at the Netflix price on the 20th and just ballpark it. So on the 20th, they expired. This is the close. So 182 ish. So 250 minus 182, we're going to round it to 70. So those contracts went from $250 to 7 Gs. Uh, and this person bought a lot of them. So this person made their move a week prior. They knew Netflix was going to make just like the most epic tumble uh, like to date maybe in the market. I don't know. But so yeah, disclaimer, they don't always make their move the day before or the day of. Um, so that ends the clip. Earnings trades are inherently risky given the all or nothing nature of how an earnings trade tends to be. I've noticed some people lean a little bit too much on the overall bullish and bearish premium values, which can get them into trouble at times for earnings trades and when following the flow in general. So really quickly how to explain how these values work using the ticker SPY. So you have call and put premiums, which are simply a tally of the total dollars transacted for calls and puts for the trading session. Any call that is transacted at or closer to the ask side and any put that is transacted at or closer to the bid side will be counted towards bullish premium bid side calls and ask side puts will be counted as bearish premium. So given this, the call and put premiums added up will also add up to the total bullish and bearish premiums. There's a slight discrepancy here given the rounding of the large numbers. So the bullish bearish premium values for a ticker as a whole aren't able to provide you with insight into whether or not options are potentially being opened or closed, as it is just too broad a look at the flow. However, the bullish and bearish premium values for a specific contract can provide insight and are far more telling. When combined with a super quick volume and open interest check, you can visualize the direction the money is going. I made note here the day of Zoom earnings that the 70 put had a bullish skew and that a good chunk of the volume was from a large multi-leg bull trade. You can see the trade here. A written 70 strike put and the purchase of a 102 and 120 strike bull call spread. With Zoom closing at $111.42, the sold puts expired worthless for a credit of $293 a contract, and the call spread, which was purchased at $308, closed at a value of $942. Do the math on that for 1,500 contracts, and you can see how that bullish trade left its footprint on the options flow. Note the bearish label on the 120 strike leg of the trade. This trade would account for $180,000 of bearish premium for the overall zoom flow of the day, even though it's part of a bullish trade. So this is a pretty good example as to why the overall bullish and bearish premiums for a ticker aren't always the best indicator to follow. Let's apply this analysis of a ticker's most traded options and the bullish bearish skew. I posted an update on hood options volume on Friday at around 10.15 a.m. You can see that there is a significant bullish lean on a lot of the calls and that the activity for nearly all of the contracts was that of the volume was greater than open interest variety. So the significant volume slash open interest here combined with a strong bull skew would suggest that the call buyers are out in force opening contracts to go long. 
So with hood closing at 1040, the 950 strike calls went from 39 to 90 dollars, and the 10 strike calls went from 8 dollars to 40. Hood closed at the high of the day, so all calls on the options chain were profitable. It's not often that you see a majority of a ticker's options tree lit up with bullish premiums, so this was a nice opportunity for those that played it. Please hit the thumbs up if this video helps, and subscribe for more videos on options flow analysis.